who are baptized and chrismated. It is always given in both forms, bread and wine. It is strictly understood as being the real presence of Christ, his true body and blood, mystically present in the bread and wine, which are offered to the Father in his name and consecrated by the divine spirit of God. Okay, so next time we'll look at the last synoptic gospel. We'll look at Luke. We'll com just to compare and contrast between the three narratives, and then we'll continue with our handout. Um, and of course, we'll have our question and answer time, which is always wonderful. I love questions. Anyone who is out there watching this, uh, if, you, if you'd like to ask questions, please feel free to leave comments in the comment box be below our, our, uh, our channel in, in the comment link be below the video. And uh, when I do have time, I'll be able to answer them. Um, but this concludes our second session of Eucharist and Resurrection. Thank you for tuning in with us, and let us all say a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O shine, O shine, O new Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Zion, sing with joy and rejoice, and you, your mother of God, rejoice in the resurrection of your Son. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Christ is risen. Christos vos Christ. Christos Anesti. Thank you, everyone, for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.